going to, in this video, show you how to cut out your doors. So at this point, you should have all your walls already made. And I'm going to show you how to cut out doors, just basic doors uh, that you see for most rooms and entryways, and how to add windows. I will do a, another video of advanced doors, such as sliding closet doors, sliding outside doors, garage doors, folding closet doors, pocket doors, all those advanced doors in a second video. Um, this will be just our basic doors. So going into SketchUp and uh, first door I want to make is down here and I'm just going to make a regular old door here and this is my front door and if you look back at our instructions cutout for doors can be 30 up to 36 inches and 36 inches is preferred that's three feet wide so you can fit in a wheelchair um, any exterior door you do has to be 36 inches or three feet so make sure that you know that. All your other doors, it's preferred. It should be 36 inches, but sometimes they can't be because of where they are and you've got to go a little smaller. But always do the biggest you can. The one time this doesn't matter is um, hall closet doors or like pantry doors or bathroom linen doors where you're not going to enter it. Uh, but any rooms you enter, you should always go as big as you can up to 36 inches. So on this first door, um, first thing, I'm going to use my pencil and all doors and windows must be four inches from a corner minimum. So I'm going to go to my corner here and I'm going to go over, I'm going to make sure I go at least four inches. Um, if I wanted to do more, since this is an entry door, if I wanted to put a little window there, I'd have to take that into account. Or if I just wanted more space and wanted it to be six inches or a foot, um, that's fine too. So I make my first line, and on this example I'm just doing four inches, and then I'm going to make a three foot door. So I'm going to type in three feet, um, or 36 inches would work as well. And then I'm going to draw a line on that side. And then the swing of the door, what way do we want the door to open? In general, doors should open to the wall so that we can see into a room. Um, we don't want to open a door, especially like a front door, or really any door going into a room, and have people walk into a wall. Um, if this door was to open this way, swing like this, it'd be kind of awkward to try to stand here and talk to people. Um, so instead, I would rather open this way, and if I don't want them to see all the way in my house, I can just crack it, and if I do want to invite them in, they're entering into the rest of the house. So I'm going to draw a line straight up on this side, three feet, and then the last thing I have to do is use this arc, uh, the very top one. It's a center point arc. So I'm going to click the center point. And then either the top of the door or the other side, it doesn't matter which one, because it should make a perfect arc. And that's just a simple regular door. Last thing we do is hit the erase button and just erase that top line. Um, it is also acceptable, so I'm going to back up. And on the swing of your door, if you prefer, or space-wise it looks better, you don't have to do a vertically open door. You can go kind of in the 45 degree range and make sure that it's three feet in that direction. Mine is snapping to that. That's kind of what it expects. And then I still do the arc the exact same way. And then I'd still erase the, part, the inside part of the wall. Don't erase the outside part then you get this weird cutout in your wall. So um, I prefer vertical, so I'm gonna go back to that. Ooh, must not have gotten three feet. So there's a basic door. Um, another place I might put that uh, here, actually right next to it, I'll put a basic door right here. This is a closet. So from that corner, I know I need to be four inches in, but I'm going to see how big this is. Three foot four. So this will actually be a great example. So I'm going to go four inches in. And I'm going to go over. And instead of going, how far do I need to do? Or like clicking here and seeing, okay, it's three feet and doing my math. I'm just going to do that from this side, four inches. And then before I draw my line here, 
I'm gonna just come over here and see, okay, it's two feet eight. So this way I need to go two feet eight so that they match. Um, this is actually a good example of where some people might wanna do a partially swing door just so these don't like clutter up this area. Um, again, I don't really mind having a fully open door as long as those aren't crossing. Um, it is okay for them to cross if this is like a closet and then an entry door. Um, if it's two doors that are used a lot, like a entry door and maybe this was a door into your office or something, they should not cross. You would have to make enough space so that they're like this. So that is basic doors. Um, the second thing for this video is basic windows, just a normal window. So first thing, I'm going to put a window right here, a little side light entry window. And as I said before, we need to make sure we're four inches from a corner. So I'm going to come in four inches and draw that. And then from any other object, whether it's a door or another window or something else, as long as it's not a corner, I need at least two inches. I can do four, but here I want this to be a little side light window. So I am going to do just two inches and draw that. Um, and then I'm going to make sure this isn't like some tiny six inch window. It's one foot eight. It's kind of a weird size. Um, if we go back to our little cheat sheet, window should be two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, okay, and so on. But in this case, this window makes sense being small since it's right next to a door. Um, I could even make that a little six inch or 12 inch window since it's right next to a door. Um, but a little 12 inch window just kind of in the middle of a wall would be strange. So understand that the, these rules are for standalone windows. Um, your typical ones are actually three feet or four feet. Um, two feet's kind of small. Five feet and bigger is, is pretty big. Okay. I'm going to draw a couple more doors over here just so you can see kind of what my process would be. Um, this might be a good place to have a whole bunch of windows looking out to the front of the house. Um, I'm going to go away from the corner. I'm going to go a little extra this time. So maybe there's like an end table there or something. I'm just going to go three feet in instead of my normal four inches. And then I'm going to do just a bunch of windows here. So I need to know about how far this is. It's 16 feet six. So um, I think I'll probably go three, four foot windows um, and see what that looks like. And then I can adjust. So if I go four feet, and I'm gonna find that, and I'm gonna go two inches. Make sure it doesn't accidentally snap to the angle. Make sure it goes straight. So I'm gonna go four feet again. Okay, and so I almost end up doing like a weird zigzag across. So I draw that side, and then since I'm already on this side, I go two inches. Now I'm on this side, so I'm gonna go four feet again. And there's my end point. Okay, so I have three four foot windows. I'm gonna put a line down the middle of each one, um, just like I did on the first window. Okay, and that just kind of shows that it's an, a window that opens. Um, there's a bunch of different types of windows we would draw different ways. We're just gonna do a generic style like that. Okay, and now eventually, um, we're not ready for this because I'm not done with all my windows and doors, but eventually we're going to go paint bucket and either do this dark gray um, or black or something, and we're gonna paint the walls in between all our windows and doors. And so then you can see how that makes those windows and doors stand out a lot more. Um, so those are your basic windows and doors. As far as the uh, lines you erase, I erase this line on the top here um, on interior surfaces, um, you should think about what the floor is going to be. So this is going to be a tile entryway. And then inside this closet, I'm probably going to just run tile also, because that would kind of make sense. Um, elsewhere, I might do something different. Like I might do wood floors through all of this, but then maybe carpet inside of this one. So that'll determine which line I delete. Um, and we'll cover that some more on the advanced one later. Uh, thanks again for your work today.